What's up guys? Uh, today's video is going to be all about a person that I find very inspirational, very motivational. You guys may or may not know already, uh, Bob Ross. Ever since I can remember uh, coming back from school and like elementary school and even middle school, uh, I can remember tuning in on PBS and watching The Joy of Painting at 4 p.m after arthur i believe but the joy of painting would come on and dude i was so obsessed with that show i would always be impressed so much by his paintings and not only his paintings but just his attitude his appearance his demeanor and his passion for painting like it was crazy i was obsessed with this man so if you don't know who bob ross is you're probably one of two things you're either way too young to know or two, you've been living under a fucking rock because this man is everywhere and he is a fucking icon. So quick rundown if you don't know who Bob Ross is. So his full name is Robert Norman Ross. He was an American painter, a famous American painter who hosted his own show called The Joy of Painting. And he turned out to be the most, most recognizable painter to this day. I don't give a fuck about Michelangelo. I don't give a fuck about leonardo dicaprio i don't give a fuck because this man is the fucking best painter ever and he wasn't even that famous for his paintings but just his attitude his appearance and his calming voice was what made him the biggest painter to this day like if you don't look at this man right now and somehow feel relaxed or aroused i don't know what to say to you because this guy is the fucking best so in this video, I really wanted to talk about Bob Ross. As you can tell, I'm really excited about this video, but not only did I just want to talk about him, I want to honor him by trying to recreate and trying to paint one of his paintings. And if you guys know me, I'm not a fucking good artist. Now I know I might be getting a video out of this, but genuinely I have been wanting to follow along to one of his paintings for the longest time ever. So I ended up going with one called Island in the Wilderness. It's season 29. So this guy had 29 seasons and it's episode one. So season nine, season 29, episode one. So if you guys want to follow along, buy all your shit and paint with me, you guys can go ahead and do that. So it's Island in the Wilderness season, season 29, episode one. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I've got going up here. Today I'm using an 18 by 24 inch double prime pre-stretched canvas, but you use whatever size you'd like. And I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. So as the man said, we gotta paint the whole canvas white. I don't get why it's already white, but um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The funny thing is I'm genuinely like scared of doing this. Like I really want it to come out good. That's it guys, uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. We start with a little two inch brush and a touch of the alizarin crimson. And we just load a little bit right into the bristles. Pull a little paint out, tap the bristles firmly to assure a nice even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. And let's go right up here. And we'll take this old brush and just making little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll just very quickly drop in just a little more part in the sky. So while I'm opening my paints and stuff, I'll go ahead and read the first fact to you guys. Um, Bob Ross kept an alligator in the bathtub as a kid. Lof a lifelong animal lover, Ross was always rescuing wounded animals and nursing them back to health as a kid growing up in Florida. This meant one rather strange addition to the family, an alligator, which he attempted to nurse back to health in the Ross family bathtub. Even in his adult life, Ross was always playing host to orphaned and injured animals, including an epileptic squirrel that lived in his empty jacuzzi. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> Dude, you don't know how fucking nervous I am for this shit. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, without even cleaning the brush, we'll go right into, right into, little phthalo blue. 
<laughs> I like phthalo blue. It's a very warm blue, very nice. Once again, just tap a little color into it, and let's go back up here. And still using our little crisscross strokes, X's. That's all they are, little X's. We'll just apply a little bit of the phthalo blue, something about like so. Then we'll come back after we clean the brush and blend that together. So without cleaning the brush, I'm gonna mix in blue. I'm, just, I'm following along, I, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, dude. I'm telling you, I'm so nervous. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, another fact while I'm opening this other paint is he was an Air Force Master Sergeant. So the calmest guy you know, so the, like this guy is so calm. Like people know him for his calm attitude and everything, his, you know, his happy voice and stuff. And he was a drill army sergeant. He was an Air Force Master Sergeant. So he was like top of the top. And this this man, I mean, this man does it all. He's got alligators, he's in the Air Force. Uh, okay. I have some water in this painting. I love water. And it's very easy to paint in this style. Still water is always level. And I think today we'll have still water. So pull from the outside in, outside in, something about like so. All right. Now we're adding water to this painting. I've literally done two things to this and I already feel like I'm I fucked up. So from the outside in, Oh, this is a masterpiece. This is coming out beautifully. Heard that he didn't actually like his perm, that he hated it, but that, you know, th that was a way for him to save money, that he didn't have to cut it as much. So since it was all bunched up, he didn't have to cut it as much. So, I mean, that's pretty badass. I mean, you know, you see a lot of people getting perms nowadays and everybody was in style. So it was bad. So Bob Ross made it famous. And then the most fun part of this whole technique is washing the brushes. Since these are oil paints, we're washing our brushes with odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess and, <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. That's really the most fun part of it. We get to clean the fucking brushes. Let's go, baby. I've been waiting for this the whole time. Like, to beat the devil out of it, that's like my favorite part. Okay, so I have water down here. You guys aren't gonna be able to see, but oh. So I have water in here. So I'm gonna dip it in there. Imagine I drop this whole shit. Ah, oh, fuck, I just put some on it. Oh, that'd be good with that. Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm just drying it off like on regular fucking printer paper. I'm just drying it off, drying it off. Let's shake the excess off. Nah, I'll do it on the side of my desk. I'm probably gonna fuck up my desk, but it's all good. It kinda looks wrong, <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beat the devil out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the brush is clean now. You know what? Okay, fuck it. That's that's what I got so far. <laughs> oh, this looks like shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe we can save this shit. <laughs> Load it full of color, both sides. Both sides. Okay, let's go up in here. Now, maybe in our world, there lives, it does now, some little trees back in here. Now, these are a little closer. You're seeing a little more detail. A little more distinct there and we just drop them in we don't know where they go wherever you want them. so another thing you guys might not know about this guy is this show he did it for free he didn't get paid for this all his money came from i guess bob ross inc so he would sell like paints and stuff and, and obviously his paintings and stuff but he did not get paid for this show
Dude, I'm supposed to be calm during this whole shit. I'm like, I haven't even, I'm not even talking about how fucking <laughs> stressed out I am about this shit. Okay, um, so this is what I got so far. Maybe from far. Oh, from far, you know, it looks pretty good from far away. Like, back here, it kind of looks like something. But I put it up front, and <laughs> you guys can kind of tell. Okay, uh, let's continue this shit. We gotta finish it. Uh, I don't think it's gonna come out that good, but um, yeah. Let's have, let's have a little evergreen tree. The lid's right there, see? Just make a line, take the corner of the brush, make a touch. Make another one, and just sort of work from the center out. There it goes. It's easier to do them fast than it is slow, though. Here they come. Just sort of back and forth. So before I continue, um, I want to tell you guys another fact. So he could film an entire season in about two days. How did Bob Ross find the time to tape all those shows for free? He could record a session almost as fast as he could paint. Ross could bang out an entire 13 episode season of the joy of painting in just over two days, which freed him up to get back to teaching lessons, which is where he made his real money. So this guy made 13 episodes in two days of all this painting and I'm struggling. I've been here for like an hour already, struggling just doing this one painting. Dude, how fucking good is that? Look at that. Ooh, look at that tree. Okay, well up close it doesn't look as good, but damn, oh shit. Okay, dude, I'm fucking pumped. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but maybe from far away on the camera, you guys kind of see what I was trying to get at. Oh, dude, on the camera straight up, this actually looks pretty good. Okay, guys, I'm finally done. I just want to let you guys know I tried my hardest to try to fix it. Um, I feel like I did a decent job, um, but I'll go ahead and let you guys be the deciding factor. I'll let you guys decide. But here it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, okay. Look, on the camera, it doesn't look too bad. Like, it looks like there's a, you know, green, green, and then there's water, and then, you know, the sky. <laughs> but yeah, from dude, from far away, okay, from far away, it actually looks decent it looks decent so looking at my painting comparing it to Ross's right here you guys can probably tell that they don't look anything alike but uh, you know there's a moral story to this um, we don't make mistakes we just make happy accidents peace